What's going on guys? Jawbreaker and Friends Aquatic Life here. We are looking at the 29 gallon long tank. Looks very beautifully after escaping it uh, yesterday. I do want to add just a little bit more sand to cover some areas like this. From the waterfall you see here, spilling down in here, uh, causing it to push back right there. Um, we're going to add more plants over into this section off in that corner there and maybe like two or three more in that back section uh, this is only in here for now to help create a better pH and to help the cage maybe some smaller plants coming out and around like this but I just love this cape so much because if you come back here as a whole fish can go into there they can pop out through the top head out through the back come along this way behind this um, plastic cave rock thing there's another hole you can kind of see it they can enter there come through the bottom and come out here they can hide back there it's just so many options where they can hide relax and be safe I'm still thinking of what type of fish I want to put in here so if you guys take a chance and view please leave a comment let me know what you think should come in this 29 gallon tank it has to be able to survive in a 29 gallon tank for long terms I can't do any more grow out fish for the meantime. Uh, so maybe some small tetras, some shrimps. I got some snails getting ready to hatch very soon, probably in another week. They'll be coming in here as well. So a lot of people are asking me, uh, Dre, how do you start a tank with beneficial bacteria? How do you, how do you get a new tank set up right away? It's quite easy. If you have an existing tank, like this one here, who's already has beneficial bacteria, who's already doing good, where fish are already thriving, and you a device like this that's made out of a plastic bottle, some polyester filling, some media filter balls, and a water pump, and you put that on your existing tank and you let that pump for a good four to five weeks. Then you just move it over to the new tank and that will automatically start to benefit your beneficial bacteria. Also, switching out the existing hangover uh, filter and putting it on your new your your new tank and switching the new one over to your old tank will help your tank out a lot. Algae, heard algae is a big problem for some of you guys. Algae is due to not doing your water changes on time and having too much light hit your tank. Either your light source is too strong or the sun is somehow hitting your tank. You're leaving that light on for too long. Your fish only need about seven to eight hours of light and sometimes not even that. Fish prefer to be in the dark. <clears throat> Look at this beauty here. This tank is doing beautifully. The plants are just growing. They're looking good. They're growing new plants on top. Just very healthy. Looking very great. The shrimps are actually doing very good. They just hide all day due to this fellow right here. But this will be changing to a full 100% shrimp tank. No snails. No betta fish. Down here, we still have this tank here. Um, it's not doing well with cycling, but I have plans for it. It will be doing well already soon. I'm gonna be pulling a fake plant out of there and putting a couple little live plants over in this corner here. And I'm gonna be doing a dwarf frog in here with maybe a few ghost shrimps. I don't know about that because the frog most likely is gonna eat them. Or I might um, lower the water to about here and add a bigger rock to stack onto this over here and get some fiddling crabs I don't know yet this tank is doing good with pH I mean yeah pH nitrates and nitrites but uh, other areas in the tank that I need at a better level are still very low 
Then we have the tank that went through a crisis. It's it's back to what it looks like. The greenness is still a little there. It's going away. Um, the lights are causing the greenness because it's algae on them. Don't really mind it. Don't really care about it. This tank is going through a makeover very, very soon. So you want to subscribe. You want to stick by and keep watching the channel. I'm dropping another video today. And the video that I'm dropping is going to be about some of the worst condition tanks and how to fix them to better tanks. Thank you for viewing.